We have a mega beer review episode here. <laughs> rum, 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 rum. <laughs> we have seven different beers from Melvin Brewing. Thanks again, race director Janie of the Cody Beer Mile, uh, the Run Cody Wyoming website race series. She hooked us up with some Melvin beers and it was wild. It came in a 12 pack, but it, it looked like it was a sampler pack with kept, four different beers, but we kept grabbing new beers that were different. Yeah, so I'm, I'm confused. It seems like it was a custom pack. It was a custom which, pack. Which is hype. It was a custom pack, 12 beers, and I believe at least seven unique. Yeah, so, so I'm pretty excited. The last time we, I, I think we've done one of them so far. We did one Melvin on, a, on yeah. another podcast. We're Melvin on. Brewery did their Hoppy Wheat Ale on the. That was just the last episode, right? Man, all these days yeah. are blowing together, blurring together a little bit. I can't bit. remember. Mandy what? Perkins. Uh, oh, okay. At okay. the end of that episode, did the first one, but now I was going to say I can't remember what's our podcast and what's the other podcast that, that we've we're been on. on. Uh, that's a good point. But we, I, I'm leaving. But when you're listening to this episode, I am driving to Chris Colorado. Is in the car. I'm in the car and. So we had this sampler pack to get through, and Adam and I were like, "Well, we just got to we got to taste test them all right here." Mega beer review Club episode going up on a Thursday. Club going up hard, y'all, and we'll definitely have some banter afterwards. But I think what we're going to try to do here is go through all seven of them. Just do it. You do a taste of each. Mega beer review, kind of rapid fire edition. And then we'll just have to finish all the beers afterwards. Yeah, and, and yeah. keep the conversation going. So no man left behind. Don't worry, we'll be plenty juiced. Yeah. By the end of this episode, proper juiced. No, no telling what we're gonna say. Apologies in advance. Don't cancel. But no, us. I don't apologize. I mean, the more haters, the more the fuel is fired. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. All right, let's let's hit it, y'all. Let's get into this beer review. All right, what do we want to start with? An IPA, probably. Let's start with an IPA. All right. Let's go. Do the honors. Let's go something that has some taste here first. First beer here, we've got. Let me pull up the, the can. Star Valley IPA by Melvin Brewing. 12 ounces of 5% ABV. Oh, for an IPA, that's not low. Uh, low ABV not high. for an IPA. It's telling me to shine bright. I always shine bright. All right. First taste. Here we go. It's a good one. You know, I'd say for 5%, I was, I was setting myself up to be disappointed because usually IPAs are a little bit higher and that's where you kind of get into the can't, the free ABV territory. Can't you tell that it's lighter? Like on yeah. the taste. Yeah, you can yeah. tell it's a lighter IPA. It's I definitely lighter. I like that actually. Yeah. It's not as... For, for the first beer, I, th I think that's a good choice. That was a good choice. IPAs can leave you feeling a little uh, lethargic at times, maybe yeah. a little bloated, but this one I think is light enough that it's going down pretty well. I think it's, it also is a good summer beer. It's about 80 degrees and... As you can tell by the video, very, very sunny here in Chicago. So, very sunny. I think this kind of pops off. So, give me, give me some ratings here. Uh, so let's we, do... we can keep these. We can keep these quick. Just yeah. give, give me some. Give me a taste. Give me a drinkability. Give me an X factor. Give me. A, would this be good for the beer mile? Oh yeah, I guess because it's beer mile legal. That's interesting. Um, okay, let's do taste first. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Drinkability. Oh, man, because it's an IPA and it's pretty drinkable, I don't know. I, I'd give it a six for drinkability. I'd say it's relatively high for most IPAs I drink. Great. And then X Factor, yeah, maybe it would be good for a beer mile. I don't know. It I'm tastes kind of flat. Yeah, or I'm going to say... Not in a bad way, just not a lot of carbonation. Right, I'm, I was going to say X Factor, I'll give it a 10 on the beer mile because I think if you were to have a challenge as we have been known to do ourselves where we say oh you got to do a, a guinness beer mile or an ipa beer mile oh. this would be the one i would pick for that ipa yeah, beer mile for sure uh so for that reason 10 on the x factor also i'm not a typically a huge ipa fan but i will say this, this tastes tickles pretty good your, tickles your nutsack it tickles a little bit melvin sponsor us <laughs> <laughs> oh boy cop oh cop oh. cop cop oh <clears throat> Oh, man. We're just doing a quick little posy boy here because a cop just rolled up and technically is, even though Adam alluded to earlier that we have open container, we do not have open container. So <laughs> just setting the beers down for one second here. It's soda pop, folks. Folks. Yeah, I, folks. I mean, hey, honestly, I don't think he would care. People drink here all the time, yeah. but not worth risking getting a ticket over nothing. He's, he's really staring something down over there. He's uh, looking towards the marina. I don't know if he sees like a big brick of cocaine getting loaded onto a boat. Uh, is he looking at a big 
stowaway with a bunch of cash. Yeah. Oh, he's on the phone. Oh, he's on the phone too. Oh. Hey, Mr. Police Officer, uh, there's some really rowdy boys sitting in the lawn and they're like drinking beverages. I don't think they should be doing that there. Can you go tell them to knock it off, please? Thank you. All right. After some brief technical issues. Yeah, uh, cop scare is gone. Cop he scare, wasn't my, looking my, into us after all. My glasses are fixed. Let's okay. go. We're back. So let's finish off. Oh uh, yeah, we're already we're already finished. Where did I even put my? Shit? Where'd oh. you hide your glass? Yeah, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna we're back. Finish out the rest of this. Uh, drink ability. I'll 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 mirror. Actually, I'll give I'll give it a seven, and I would give it okay. a ten against other IPAs. I'll give it a seven. Taste. Uh, I mean, I'm being lame, but I'm gonna go seven here. Okay, uh, it's that's fair. it's very that's good. Fair. But X Factor ten. Best IPA out there for a beer mile. You heard it here first. Rock and roll. All right, what's next? All right, I uh, shall take out the next one. Let's go. Adam is picking the next beer. Set that bad boy aside. That is not going to go undrank. We're going to finish that. If you are a super beer taster out there and you're going to give us flack right now for not washing out these glasses between beers and or taking a drink of water in between beers to cleanse our palates, sorry, we're not that fancy. We brought one glass each. That's all we could carry. And so there might be a little bit of mixing going on here, but all right. Next up, another IPA. This one, a little bit denser. The question is, it's 7.5% ABV, Melvin IPA. Is it free? That's the question. Everybody wants to know, is this beer free or is it not free? And that that's really the only metric. Once you start getting above 7% ABV <laughs> on a beer, not? you just got to know if it's free. <laughs> that's let's, it. take a, let's take a taste. That's that's pretty. That free. is not what I was expecting it to taste like, doesn't it? For a two and a half percent bump, that tastes pretty good. That a, is very good. It's it's definitely hoppier, not as light, but that's really good. So, in your professional opinion, how what's the difference besides the seven point five percent to five percent? What's the difference between this beer and the one we, we just had? What would you say the taste, uh, the the palate? The, uh, you know, what's the difference? I don't know. I don't that? know these words, but I, I would put money on the IBUs being like, I would say close to two times as much. It's very, it's very hoppy. It is very, but in a, it's in still a tasty way. It's smooth. Yeah. It goes down really it's smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah. Uh, this is, so this is marketing for you. So you're very, everyone's very influenced by cans and marketing. They don't want to think they are. They want to say, oh, I can tell a Bud Light from a Bush Light, from a Coors Light. And some people probably can. Maybe you get lucky, but a lot of people can't. When I saw the can and saw it was green, it made Did me you, think of pistachios. Interesting. And so now I just took a taste of this and I was like, oh, it has a hint of pistachio. Hmm. I. What if that's right? I would be. I. I would be really impressed. That would be impressive. Right. I don't know why I pistachioed on the I, line. I was instantly reminded because it's a green can. I was reminded of the uh, Green Line IPA. Ah uh, uh, yes, by, yes. What's the what's the brewery? Three one two. Three one two. Yeah. No, not three one two. That's Goose another Island. beer. Goose Island. Goose Island. Jesus wow. Christ. <laughs> we're only like one beer deep, and we're already making mistakes. That's All right. Rough. So let's give some quick ones on this. Honestly, again, influenced by marketing, but hey, I'll, I'll be honest. I know I am. This one, I'm going to give a higher taste. I'm going to give an eight. I'll also give it an I'll eight. I'll give an eight on this IPA. I'm going to give it a little lower drinkability. I'll give it a five. I don't, yeah, I'd give, I'd give it, I'm like, yeah, it's about a five, five and a half for me. X Factor. Pistachios. It's it, Pistachios. <laughs> it's not free, but it's like. It's a you, fire sale. Yeah. When you, I don't know, when you buy lemonade from a kid at a lemonade stand and it's only a dollar, like it's basically free. Yeah. And it's, you get to, it, it's, you get to f his mom, you know? <laughs> that's <laughs> sometimes, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how lemonade. She sales, was a right? cheap date. <laughs> Ninety nine cents, man. <laughs> cheap is so crap. But, but it's basically that free. Like it's not yeah. free, but it, it might as well be free. If a kid was it's selling, such, if a kid was selling a pitcher of this for ninety nine cents, that's free, right? That um, basically free. That's not an amount that I have to get cleared at home with the wife. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't have to get anything cleared under like thirty. I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, under under. Uh, what do we spend on the? On um, what do we spend so on far? beer mile.com? <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Here we go. Let's keep it rolling, y'all. All right, I can I can grab this one. All right, so this one is our. Oh, this is this is an awesome name. It is the two by four double IPA. Look at that. So we're logo. just stepping up. Yeah, the we're, we're IPA ness as grinding. we go here. Dude, okay, nine point nine percent ABV. Oh. 
<laughs> We're about to get the hammered. question is, is not, it, not is it free? Are they paying us to drink this beer? It's that it's so free that we're, we're making, getting we're paid. earning interest yeah. on this beer. That's what I'm, this is like a beer coin beer. That's what it's all about. Earning interest when you're not even doing anything. That passive income. Make sure if you're out there, you're getting that passive income side hustle. Like passive income. Even even if you're a slave to the man in a corporate setting, make sure you get that side income and that passive income because it's free money. Is that, is that how beer mile.com works? Beer mile.com is free money. Side awesome. income. It's totally passive. Don't have to do any work for it. All right, dude. Look at my nine, pores. 9.9%. 9. I'm honestly a little nervous. I know. I don't know why, but I'm a little nervous. It feels like this should almost be like wine. Is that just me, or does it taste the exact same as the I last got, one? I got a lot of foam in that. I need yeah, the okay. next one. Let me do the little nose trick here. It's probably like uh, my boy, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know, our, our favorite chugging guy as of late on the Insta oh, and TikTok? Oh, Donnie Deutsche. Yeah, it's like the, the Donnie move. He always does the quick uh, nose oil before he chugs a beer okay, out of the pint. Okay, interesting. Dude, this one, I think this one, I'm going to say it, is a little too hoppy for my taste. Do you think this tastes? I, God, I feel like an idiot. I don't think this tastes significantly different from the last beer. Oh, I think it's I think it's it hot. It's it's hoppier, a this, little. I will. I think this one, for being nine point nine, it deser like it. It earns the punch more than the seven point five does. Yeah. But this one is definitely. Uh, I would say this is a one and done beer because also like if you have three of these, you're gonna be wasted. Yeah. Uh, not a not a great so drinkability then. Drinkability, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it like a three and a half. Yeah, it's like taste, down there, it's like a three. Taste, I'm gonna give it I'll give it an eight and a half. I think it tastes really good given the percent ABV. So I'm going eight and a half. X factor. One and done, I guess. That's a nice X factor. Dude, I, I really like pre game in a can. One I, and done. I, I feel like we stopped saying it because we said it so much, but I really like the can artwork, uh, the two by four. That's 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 sick. Hopefully that graphic designer is getting paid. That's all we gotta say. <laughs> Hopefully he's above getting minimum paid above wage. minimum wage. Let's go. Hopefully he's got equity. Overall, this that is actually great. went down really what, fast. One though, of my so one of my like know. old older person favorite things is like when you're, I don't know, having a having a, a start of a night and just pre-gaming or something. I just love buying like a, just a nice bottle of beer. That's like a, like a Delirium Tremens, Tremens is a perfect example of this, but you just buy like that little bit nicer double IPA or triple IPA just to get you started. and you just split it with another person and you just have like a, a half a bottle of that. And it's a great, great way to get you started. You don't get too full. Uh, it's kind of that balance, I guess, between uh, it's like, liquor it's your, and beer. Yeah, it's your gateway drug. Yeah, it, it, sure, sure. But that you would get a little a good, flavor to start the night off. That would be a good off. name for a heavy beer. Gateway drug? Yeah, that has like free oh, ABV. Man, okay, okay. Or or also like a hemp hemp beer. Gateway drug gateway into actually drug. using marijuana. Yeah, yeah. Dude, have you ever had marijuana beer? It's really It's bad. disgusting. I do, not, I do not fancy it at it all. It is disgusting. All right. Next up S on dude, the docket. Speaking of which, what the hell? Uh, Hubert, the Melvin Pale Ale. This guy's smoking out of a pipe. Ooh. That's pretty dope. Mm, bad influence on the children. I don't huh. know. And he's like made out of metal. That's kind of that's kind of fucking cool. He's a it is really cool. He's a hipster metal guy. Dope. Nice. Melvin Hubert, Melvin Pale Ale. Six percent. If your beer is not madness, it's not beer. That's the tagline on this one. I love that. that. Fucks. Man, Hubert, if I didn't know you better, I might take you for an IPA, but after one sip, I knew you were a pale ale. With your sleek, sophisticated approach to life and your general de debonairness? Debonairness? Yeah, so Chris and I... We What's a debonairness? We're no David Ribich. We didn't, we didn't like we do didn't a whole lot of English stuff. We know? didn't write a book. Yeah, we didn't I mean, write a but, book. But as a writer, you're supposed to write at like a sixth grade level or something so people can understand it. So uh. so I don't think David Ribich is a good example because he just writes at a sixth grade level because then people can actually like... So then Josh Kerr it. can read his book. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It's got to be digestible by Josh Kerr or uh, legible for him. <laughs> You smell of hoppy pleasure and the balance you possess is stunning. I promise not to misunderestimate you. Misunderestimate you. Isn't it just underestimate? Yeah. 
Okay, so great graphic designer. Are you also the content person? Just curious. <laughs> um, no, to- totally kidding. This is great. Don't hate Hardy. That's what it says. That's, right that's a good tagline. That's a great tagline, too. Okay, let's pour this one out. I almost think we should have taste tested these side by side because... They all kind of taste the same to me. Dude, this one, <laughs> dude, the, the hoppiness on this one is like, so like the other ones were, were scaling upwards and this one is like completely on the opposite end. I agree. Is not I, I mean, I, I agree with that. I tend to like APAs more than IPAs. I think this one's pretty good. There's nothing super special about it. Um, like I, I don't think I'm refined enough to taste any hints of whatever they may have put in here. Um, but I still think the taste is pretty darn good. I'll give it an eight for taste and then drinkability. I think I might also give it an eight, maybe an eight and a half. It's kind of goes down pretty easy. Okay. So you're saying that this is up there with the likes of, uh, bush lattes and natter natty daddies and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I, (sighs) yeah, I don't know. I get, I feel lame just going like, it's like a seven for taste. Yeah. Like it's good. Or maybe it's like, okay, you know what? I gotta, I gotta start being a little more controversial and decisive one way or the other. I think this one is a six. I'm okay, go a little bit lower. Drinkability, it's like a six. X factor. Honestly, this one's not doing it for me. I mean, yeah, I I'm say not saying X- it's bad. It's just like it's, it's a standard pale ale. I couldn't, I, if I had this next to every other pale ale at every other I brewery, say, I probably I couldn't say, tell you a big difference. I would say X factor. This would be like my safe play. Um, if if I was doing a flight and I didn't know which one to pick, I would probably just grab, like, ah, grab the I'll, grab, I'll grab one of these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not to say it's bad. It's just you know, nothing's that's, popping out at me as yeah distinguished. That's, that's okay. That's okay. I'm trying to think of what it's like, like a metaphor. It's like uh, it's like kissing your sister. You know, it's like eh. it's like meh. You know, it's nice. You know, usually you really look forward to kissing someone, but when it's your sister, you're kind of like ah. Eh, Shit, we are grinding on this on this review here. So four beers down. Three to go. Three to go. A lot of leftover beers to finish up as we yeah, uh, holy shit. shoot the shit afterwards. But what's next for us here? Oh, chair. I haven't even dipped into my sack yeah, yet. Yeah. That's the deal. Also, these chairs. Uh, link to this chair in the description. Oh, these chairs. Uh, you know, the Coleman chair with the built-in side cooler that can fit at least probably a six pack, honestly. Yeah, I'd say sixer. Uh, so yeah, people, link in description to this Coleman chair. So we've got, what do we want next? Killer Ooh, bees? Oh, that one. Okay. That one you for what? sure. Whatever we grab first is coming up. All right. Give the people some words of wisdom while I'm uh, grabbing this bad Ooh, boy. Words of wisdom, man. I don't really have a lot in the ways of words of wisdom, but really excited for this beer. Oh God, that's a lot of head. It's like college level head. All right. As the head settles, let's touch on this beer here. We've got the Melvin. Of course it's the Melvin. I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, the Killer Bees American Blonde Ale. Again, amazing artwork. I'll show you this in a second. Swarming, 5% ABV, award-winning honey ale. Don't hate party. Look, I mean, look at the, uh, isn't that sweet? He's like oh, opening up his that's chest. It's like a beehive. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool. Okay. So, so for this one, actually, I don't want to, I don't want to incept your brain with any of my, my reviews. So, Get your drink in first. Okay, now that you've had it. I, I think have my opinion. I like that this one isn't overwhelmingly, like it doesn't have the overwhelming taste of honey. I like that it's a subtle under- undertone. It's very subtle. After having those IPAs and then the pale ale, it's, it's just tastes so thin. Yeah. Like it, it's so, so drinkable. It, it, tastes like, <laughs> it tastes like going from drinking a freaking uh what's the what's the vodka tomato juice that weird people like a bloody mary a bloody mary Ugh. it's like it's like going from drinking a bloody mary to just regular orange juice or something You're like oh wow something there we go it, it, do, it does make a difference yeah. yeah okay i would say for this one I, again i i gotta be i guess a little harsh it's not harsh it's not harsh if i'm i would say drinkability is like a nine yeah, agreed. It's up there. Like I could, I could just this is, sip. This I could is, sip this one all day. This is what no I'm doubt. reverting to after I have like a few of the IPAs or dippers or, or whatever, whatever else are the heavy right. hitters. But I do think, yeah, taste on this because there's 
uh, maybe I would have liked it if there's a a little bit more honey. I don't know. And now I'm like kind of contradicting myself. It's, I'll go with I'll go with a six on the taste. Yeah, I was gonna say a five, and I think it's just a little again, bit I think it's super biased because we just came from the most flavorful of beers. Like I bet if we went from a bush light to this, we'd be like, oh wow. It's just as drinkable and actually tastes good. Yeah, or if this was my first beer of the day and I'm like out on the boat, just like laying there, soaking up the sun, and then I crack this one open as my first one of the day, then sure. Or if it's like, you know, you're at the bachelor party and it's 7 a.m., it's time to crack the first beer, like that, True. and it would taste amazing. You know, nice little breakfast beer, you know. I Have this with some honey nut, honey nut Cheerios, this, you know. The, the thing is, this is why it's so hard to do beer reviews and beer tasting, because it's all like situational. Yeah. It's like very in the moment based on how your stomach's feeling, how you're like the, the vibe you're going for. If you're going for like a chill and relax or like a, I need to get ready to have a night. It, it just depends. Everything is, is so intertwined, I guess you could say. Mm. In my very sophisticated beer talking mind here. Yeah, I really do want like a, a shitty light beer to compare this with because I feel like it would perform better if I had that context. So X Factor, is it a good beer mile beer? Five percent alcohol? If they had this that, in a bottle, would would it be a good one? I, I almost I, I almost th think I yes. think so. The carbonation isn't off the chain. You did have a lot of head, but it might just be because I think we shook up the bottles a little they bit. They got a little shook up on the way over and uh, just the way I poured it. The, these, yeah. these glasses are very, it's hard to get a nice pour yeah. on them, but I think it could have I, good I potential. Mean, I mean, it would be enjoyable at least compared yeah. to like a Budweiser or something. Yeah. It's more enjoyable. It tastes better. I think that. this one you could probably, it would be one of those beers that you can do a beer mile with. And then after the beer mile, you'd still be able to drink it. Celebratory. I mean, that's, yeah. again, that's why I love my Blue Moon. It's good for every any time. Pre race, during race, post race, breakfast, dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh every, every two AM snack. Yeah. You know. I can I like the day that I did the beer two mile, probably drank more blue moons that day than Josh Kerr has had in his lifetime, but he still <laughs> thinks he's a blue moon guy. You know, I'm over it. I'm over it. Dude, I swear I swear to God, like love sit and kick, but if they ever touch like merchandising with Blue Moon, I'm gonna be upset. No, they won't. Never they won't. do that. You can't, you can't, no, it, okay, I would put it this way. I wouldn't say they can't. I would say any brewery that is dumb enough to pay pro runners to market them when pro runners just can't drink. Like, well, and that, there's just not, not, not enough, saying they can't drink, there's like, just not, not good enough at opportunities it, to market it. That's really. what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. They're not, pro runners aren't out there drinking every day, every week. That's fair. Like, they drink in the off season. So there's, there's literally zero opportunity for it. Yeah. Unless they're faking it, unless they're saying, like, oh, I drank a blue moon today, even though yeah. they didn't, then there's no opportunity. So I think breweries. Yeah, and, this, is, this is totally random, but we were talking about 2 a.m. snacks, and like, my go to is P Tarts. You know, it's sponsored by P Tarts. Let's go, P Tarts. I think a, a Pop Tart beer would be pretty good. That would be great marketing too. Got the brand name? Yeah. Pop Tart Beer? Melvin, think about it. There we go. You're welcome. We'll send you that invoice for the uh, help on the- R&D. On the R&D, <laughs> yeah. All right, two to go. Let's fire up the old Coleman. Fire up the what send machine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they should call these, the Let's, send machine. <laughs> Man, we should we should join marketing at Coleman. We could teach them how to market their chairs. Like, hey, you need to call these the send machines. Yeah. They'll be like, what's a send? Be like, no, 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 no. no like no. college kids will get it. Like they literally can. just slap a new label on it that says send machine and let us do the rest. <laughs> oh, dude, look at that Model X. Oh, daddy. Elon, so I don't want to break this news too prematurely oh, here, but God. we are in talks with a guy. He's very into something we've been developing. Uh, so a Model X just drove by and we may have an opportunity. So he's, as you all know, he's into stonks. He's into crypto. Big crypto there guy. There may be an opportunity on the crypto front for something we've been uh, developing behind the scenes <laughs> at beermall.com. That's all I got to say. We've got a good one coming for you with Beercoin and- To the moon. Yeah, big things to be announced soon, especially in regards to individuals who enjoy sm smoking the reefer on- Joe some Rogan's podcast. podcast. So yeah. he might be a future podcast host. Uh, just let us know. Okay. Send, send the Venmo our way. Send the Venmo our way. Also, thank you to the people that Venmo'd. We're going to hit on that later too. I got that on the show notes to talk to you right after we get through these beer reviews because we've got to be lubricated for that. So- Next up, we're getting even lighter. Okay. We are going, uh, uh, don't hold it over the audio device. Let's go oh, okay. Just oh, in case. 
Okay, so we have. Why? <laughs> He's pouring like a fucking degenerate. <laughs> oh, I love this one's cool. The Pilsenjar is that is that how you'd say this one? Pilsenjar, All right, y'all. We got Pilsenjar. the Pilsnar. 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 Like, it's like, like shred this, the gnar, bro. Yeah. Shredding the gnar. Chasing Vert, bro. Chasing Vert. <laughs> Chasing Vert. Uh, oh, yeah. So let's shred this. Oh, yeah. And he uh, has outdoor like mountain stuff. So 4.8%. 4. 4. So we're, we're dropping down in the ABVs. Not, not beer mile not legal. Not beer mile legal. So, uh, you know, why not just get the extra 0.2% at that point? You know? I mean, 4.8, I think, is fair for That's like, a great a very... Pilsner, but like. If I'm a brewery, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm a beer mile guy. I'm yeah. not making any beers under 5%. Yeah, maybe we just have to... Well, there is a light beer beer mile, so... Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of fake news. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You don't have to drink alcohol. I, I think there should just be a... In, uh, an O-Duels. Yeah, N-A. yeah, an N-A, an N-A yeah. beer mile. That makes sense. Oh, I think and so. And I think, it would, I, honestly, it would be the same difficulty because yeah. the carbonation is the problem, not the... Not yeah, the you don't get drunk so. until afterwards. Yeah, so... That's not a cop, is it? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's got a fucking yeah, F-150. Yeah. <laughs> Just the way he was looking at us. I was like, what the fuck? My Ford truck in the city. I Let's dig it. in. Let's shred this gnar Jesus. on the Pils gnar. Oh, yeah. That's a Pilsner. I, I can tell. That's a Pilsner. I think we did this the wrong way. I think we should have gone from lowest to no, biggest. No, no, because then all the all the heavy hitters would have been like, oh, this tastes bad. I don't like uh, it. Like it's too much or something. I think this tastes really good. I'm going to give it. That's the thing is like, so this is a Pilsner. So like compare it to Miller Lite. Like this is like a nine taste. Compared to Miller Lite? Well, it's, oh, yeah. It's, God, it's a thousand yeah, times better yeah. than like Miller Lite. But I'm just saying, like, set the context. You're, you're I, know saying, we, yeah, I know we had yeah, yeah. some snacks, you know, but yeah, I'd, I'd give it a nine for taste and a. Actually, I might invert that. I'll give it an eight for taste and a nine for drinkability. Yeah, it's like we we started at the, you know, the eight course meal Michelin star restaurant, and now we're down to like the buffet KFC, line. KFC, yeah. Yeah, we're down to like the buffet line at a bar when they're offering bar food at two a.m just to keep you to keep buying drinks and they got some like peanuts and popcorn and maybe some like soggy nachos out hey we're, we're in we're into that but like i mean if if it hits it hits you know if oh, it's 2 a.m in the club and daddy needs some food he's he's getting food so you said i said compared, eight, eight for taste nine eight, for drinkability so you're saying that this tastes okay but just in general though are you saying this tastes better than the, some of those ipas we already had you just rated this an eight, so it's, you're saying yeah. it's better tasting because you're more into. Is it just because you're into this style of beer? Yeah. Okay. Pil- I would say Pilsner is like my go-to. Okay. Because I drink a lot of Miller Lite. So I'm gonna go down on this one to a. Oh, you're going down on it. Nice. I- <laughs> Speaking of prom. <laughs> <laughs> gonna give her a five. It's like not this my like, prom date. My prom like, date was not a five. It's like much that. Uh, it's like that Friends <laughs> episode where Jennifer Aniston's like seven, seven, seven. You got to put that clip in. <laughs> seven, 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 seven. I'm gonna give it a five on the taste. I'm gonna give it an nine on the drinkability. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna give it a. Could PR in the beer mile X factor? Should it be five percent? I'll give it that. My X factor is I feel like this beer I would drink a lot of it and have to pee immediately. <laughs> I don't know what, why. So is your theory that the thinner the beer is, like yeah, the less like may, dense it is, maybe. like the more it goes through you? Why do I feel that way? I don't it's the know. Same amount of water. I mean, basically. I just feel like I drained my glass. I'm like, wow, I kind of have to pee. So I don't know. <laughs> well, there's no time to pee. We got a podcast to record right here. Yeah, there's no bathrooms right. around here. Actually, there are bathrooms uh, over there. There's some important. No, I'm pissing my pants. We only got one to go. Let's keep the party going. Dude, hashtag piss your pants. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag. All right. Here we go. Another, another great one. Jesus. Hell yeah. So it's like. Is that Mexican Jesus? Zeus? That's exactly. Like, sick. So it's like Jesus, like. The name, the Mexican name, J E S U S, but also the Greek Roman. But it's spelled yeah. like Hey H E Y, and then the Greek god Zeus. And he's got and a fucking he's sombrero. Got a sombrero. And a Zeus bolt. has a sombrero and a, and a lightning bolt. That's this is sick. epic. 
Uh, it's got the Mexican colors too. Green, That's white, a good, red. Um, this is amazing. That'd be a good tattoo. I'd get oh, that. Oh man, look at the t tagline: "Breaking down walls." Fuck yeah. That is good. Wow. <laughs> Great, man. Overall, A plus on dude. Melvin slaps. I'm, I'm excited. Design. One day, one day we'll pay a visit. Other than in those person. words that we didn't know on the one can. Uh, other than that, great overall. Uh, appearance yeah. of the beers. Hey Zeus, going in the glass. Plenty of head. I always like to hook my co-host up with as much head as he would like. That sounded really bad. <laughs> We're keeping that in. We're keeping that in. <laughs> Interpret that how you will. Hopefully not based on the way that that roast came in on the homo erectus scale. Um, I did not intend it to be that way. Fair. I meant, I meant to say I send him plenty of prom dates. <laughs> <laughs> also sounded bad. I think we need to stop man, somewhere. Man, we're just. We're when, just do we, when do we cut the joke off? <laughs> is it we're, we're balancing between like gay jokes, but also like sex trafficking? I don't know. Wow, oh, man, we should just cut off the jokes here. Right In between now. a rock and a hard place. Last beer, seventh beer. Thank you again, Melvin. Thank you again, Janie. What do we think of the Mexican style lager? And also, while I'm taking my first sip, because I haven't yet, what defines a Mexican style lager versus a lager? You're asking the wrong guy. I think that this is, holy sh Oh, we almost just hopefully, got hit by birds. Hopefully we got that on, that was on, on video. Camera. Yeah. Um, so compared to the last one, this, this flavor profile packs a way bigger punch. I was just gonna say, taste way better than the Pilsner. In my opinion, so I would say they're both. But you up just there. gave the Pilsner such a high. Rating. Yeah, I gave it an I, eight. This, I, I would say this is my ten. This your oh my okay. ten taste. This is your ten for the day. This is really good. I mean, I won't go that far, but I, I when, I, when I hear Mexican style lager, I think like Tecate <laughs> yeah. and whatever else. And so yeah. compared to that, it's like yeah, it's a it's an eleven. Yeah. you know, compared to a Tecate. So what do you think drinkability? Wait, let me get another one here. I like I slammed it, but I, I don't know. I'm an iron stomach. I mean, honestly, any of these beers are technically a 10 drinkability if we're really going to get down to the brass tacks, but I would... Does it, does it make you want to drink more? I mean, I definitely want another glass right okay, now. Okay, there you go. So, yes, there you go. yes. I, if, if you're going for sheer volume game, I mean, the Pilsner is going to be a little bit, you know, more more of a value play there, but yeah. but it's, it's I can't complain at all. Another one where why not just add the extra 0.2% and that would be money. Like if this one, then I could actually really enjoy it during a beer mile. Yeah, if this one is beer mile legal, that would be pretty hype. Melvin, now that you've seen how much we appreciate your beers and how much we're willing to market your beers, we want to work on that beer mile beer. Like let's make oh, a yeah. beer mile beer. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be a new one. Just give us one of these five percenters and slap a new label on it, and we'll sell the shit out of it on beermile.com. Jeez, yeah, we will. So let's just do that. Thank you. Uh, there's my business development work for the day. 10x it in one day. Thank you, Melvin. It. Looking forward to visiting you in person. There's our beer review. Seven different beers The mega tried. beer review. That was awesome. From the two most sophisticated beer tasting palettes in, in the, the world. market. We get, I mean, we get asked all the time. It's like, hey, is this is this beer a six or an eight? Like, I'm trying to, like, people are at the store and they're like looking at what to buy for the weekend and they're like texting us. They're like, God, is this a six? Is this a seven? I'm like, no, bro, that's an eight. Get that one. You're gonna you're gonna get all the people at the party that are gonna be down to clown because you provided the good good for them. Yeah, true. We know we know beer tastes. We'll do more beer reviews if you like it. If it hits different. If you're on YouTube, comment below and let us know which beer is your favorite. Oh, wait, you haven't tried them. You wouldn't know. Let us know which beer you'd like to try the most. Let us know if you like would like us to do more beer reviews. We let can definitely know do that. If you want us to put these on the website, because that's something that's on the list. Uh, that's, yes. I, I would say like lower on the queue. You know, we've got beer coin. We've got coaching. A few other things that we want to do. Um but we've been looking at an untapped integration. So, yeah. you know, yeah. let us, so, let at us know. At some point, we'll integrate with untapped and pull in our own reviews, uh, TBD. But just let us know how it hit. I think these beers, safe to say they hit a little different. Well, it is a listener beer, so. Listener beers always hit different. Thanks again, Janie. Thanks again, Melvin Brewing. Check out the Cody Beer Mile if you have not yet. That is the best destination race out there well several different options for destination races in wyoming the beer mile a hell of an after party make sure you check that out <laughs>